So in this case, we are going to consider the basic properties of a histogram as we have got this as part of our syllabus of our grade 11. What you need to understand as basics of uh, the histogram is that the information that is used to represent at the end for us to have this histogram is being taken from the grouped information. Remember, when we're dealing with the grouped information, we're, re we're representing this information in form of classes from a certain part to a certain part. That's the class interval. So as you are to represent the histogram, you are going to notice that as part of your syllabus, you are going to be given same class width, which is the interval in between, is the same. We are given same class width. Given same class width, which is the interval that is from one point to another. It is, it is the same width in between. Remember we said the class width is the difference between the upper class minus the lower class. So you're going to notice 10 minus 5, you get a 5. 15 minus 10, you get a 5. It will be the same throughout. In that case, the histogram that you are going to be having at the end of the day is going to be represented from those classes that you are given versus the frequencies. So you are going to represent classes as they are and the frequency as it is. Let us be very, very careful. Then. Very, very careful. We've got the same class width. So meaning to say at the end, guys, you are joining from a certain class from maybe five, up to 10 versus 1. Maybe this is where we've got our 5, this is our 10, 15. So if we take 5 to 10 versus 1, meaning to say at the end, we are going to have a bar. We're going to have a bar. From 10 to 15, we are going to have another bar corresponding to its frequency. We are going to have another bar continuously like that. No gaps. No gaps. And as you can see, because of the same class that we, that we had, we are going to notice that these bars will be exactly of the same width. From this point up to this point is the same as of this point, up, like this with this width. It will be the same throughout. The heights, they correspond to the frequency. The height of the bar in that case corresponds to the frequency. It will be equal to the frequency as we drew this one from the, what, from the frequency. So we must be very careful as we are dealing with our grade 11 mathematics because we shall somehow have a, a deeper view of the histogram. Maybe you are now into... Pure mathematics uh, that you see, okay, there's another uh, presentation uh, that can actually be used. But as of this case, we are simply working with same classes. So this is what you need to have. So which is very, very important as you consider later on, like I say, but as for now, uh, this is what you're going to be having as part of your syllabus. So remember, all will be having the same width as used uh, that as we had before in our grade 10 mathematics, so nothing uh, much. So the basic presentation is or can be given, let us just say we are given uh, a certain presentation of this nature. Let us have this part here. There we are told that the frequency table shows the mathematics marks obtained by grade 11 mathematics learners in a test out of 50 marks. 
right? Out of 50 marks, the test. So these are the marks obtained. So looking into this 10 to 20, from 20 to 30, from 30 to 40, from 40 to 50, you can see that it is the same width in between, the difference of 10 in between the same. Same class width. So thus, our histogram is a basic one. We just work with the frequencies as they are. The number of learners, this is your frequency. As it is. Starting from, 20, from 10 to 20. Versus 25. So we are simply going to need the classes where we have got the marks, the class intervals, and the frequency. Nothing. Nothing much. So the first one, 10 to 20. 10 to 20 versus 25. All right? 10, that's here, to 20. But it must be versus 25. So according to this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we divide... Uh, 20 divided by 4, it means 1, it's 5. 20 divided by 4, that is 5. So it simply means this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, uh, 40, 45, 50, uh, 55, 60, 65, and so on and so on. All right. So in this case, we need 25. All right. 25. So 25, that's somewhere here, 25, somewhere there. So you take it straight, 25 versus uh, 10 there, going straight to 25. So it's just going to be a bar that you are going to have from 10 going up to 25, straight somewhere there, then 20 to 25, all right? Then we join the two. On top of the at what at 25. So you guys, you can do this one in a proper way. Remember, you can properly see your values from what you are having, but it's gonna be like this, all right? So that will be 10 to 20 versus what the 25, where it is starting from, ending two to 20. Then we do the same thing uh from 20 to what 20 to 30. 20 to 30, which is what? Uh, 74. So 20 to 30, this is our 30 here. Already we've got 20, but we need what? 30, uh, that's 74. All right, 74, guys, it's just going to be below 75. Remember this, we are at 60, uh, 70, 75. So 74 may be somewhere there, just below uh, 75. So let's go 20. We're just going to continue with this one straight. All right. To 74. That's somewhere there. Okay. Then also 30 going up. All right. Somewhere there. So we must uh, have this one at what? At... Um, at uh, 74. So we are saying the corresponding value there is what is 74, right? So that is uh, at what? It's at 20 from 20 to 30. The other part that we are given is uh, 30 to 40 versus what? 66. So that is 30 to 40 and 66 just above 65, all right? So just 65, uh, 66, let's just say approximately somewhere there. Okay. Or oh, let's take the 40. First, this one, 40 going up, 66 is going to be approximately somewhere there. All right. Then let's join uh, these two. Okay. So that is from 30 to what? To 40. And the corresponding value was what? Uh, 66. Then from 40 to 50, which is 35. From 40 to 50, we take the 35 as it is there. All right, so that is 
35, which is somewhere, somewhere there. Okay, then we can join uh, this one to this one. So these are the basics, guys, like this. Okay, so that was uh that is going to be our histogram so when you are asked to draw a histogram according to your syllabus do not even panic what type of a graph is this one no we must have the bars as they are these bars that we are given without gaps no gaps same with because we are given from the same class uh, with that we are given from those class intervals that we had, they were the same. There were same differences in between, same differences in between. So you take those classes versus the frequencies. So let's do revise as many questions as we can, uh, preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time.